What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Now in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the new releases from Fenty Beauty. Now bitch, listen here. There's a lot of stuff here. Fenty Beauty basically set the tone for foundations. When anyone hears Fenty, they think, girl, that foundation range, every brand is quivering and shaking. Now let me say this, from someone that has been reviewing Fenty since the birth of it in 2017, they have put out a lot of products, a lot of bangers, a few misses, um, a few moments that we had to sledgehammer. Oh. Hmm, I miss those days. <laughs> it was 10 days ago. Okay, but I think it's really awesome because Rihanna really set the stage for brands putting out foundation in the future. Girl, if you're forgetting people's undertones, if you really wanna do a lackluster shade range, we're not gonna have it, which we have seen countless times with brands still. Let's move on to the review. Fenty Beauty, let's see what you got in store for me. All right, you guys, I am excited to play with this. I love skin products, I love concealers, I love powders, I love to see if a brand can bring it. Now this is Rihanna's first concealer and setting powder launch. Of course, in her very first launch, she put out the Universal um, Blotting Powder, which I love this. Mama Mitchell always puts this on under my eyes, um, and for like meet and greets and events, bitch, it makes your like under eyes laid, no creasing here. Um, but will the other stuff perform like this? I don't know. Um, now I did log on YouTube to see if there was anyone reviewing this yet. Only thing I really saw was paid sponsorships. Now Fenty girl, you can pay anyone to review it, but bitch, no one's paying me. So today the truth is coming out. All right, you guys, now I got four of the lightest shades. You guys know I love a really lifting and light concealer. Um, I am very fair, so I will put on a foundation today. Um, I don't really live for the Fenty foundation. I did review it a while ago. Um, I will link that down below. I did like it. I felt like it was really drying. It's so pretty. It just, you kind of have to finesse it throughout the day. So I'm just going to put on a normal foundation like I would when I review any concealer and then we will try it with this. Um, I got shades 100, 110, 120, and 140. I didn't get 130 because it said it was very uh, like warm and yellow and you guys know I'm fair. Okay, so let's unbox these. Let's swatch them and let's get them on my face. All right, now we do have two cameras today like always. I will say this, I got a facial yesterday from Miss Yoli Glow and she extracted a lot of my pores. So I have a lot of redness here. No, I do not have acne. I just have a lot of extractions going on here. Um, so it'll be good to see though how the product works. Now, let's dive into this. Um, where's the unicartons, bitch? All right, so here is what the packaging looks like for the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer, of course. Standard Fenty packaging, we live for it. Now, what is this supposed to do? Now, this does have 0.27 fluid ounces, instant photo, soft coverage for all, long wear, light as air, and crease proof. Ooh, and brands say that. Mm, okay, we're gonna see if it's crease proof. Let's see it. So the bottle, when you unbox it, it looks like this. Now, as I said, I did buy four shades, so we will swatch them all in a second. Ooh, almost dropped one. All right, so here is what they look like. I will give you guys um, some swatches on my hand right now. Now, the concealer retails for $26, and I think that's pretty good. But also, there is a concealer brush, which is $26. And I'm like, Rihanna, why is the brush the same price as the concealer? Now, we all know you can put on concealer with your fingers. You can do it with a beauty sponge. You can do it with a, any brush on the planet. So when brands put out their own brushes, I'm down to try them. Is it a necessity? Absolutely not. At $26, girl. And let me guess, this has to be a synthetic brush. It's concealer, hello, it's a liquid product. Yes, 100% synthetic. So $26 is a little much for a brush. Now, as someone that makes products, I do know that the cost of goods to this is probably very low, like a dollar. So girl, the upsell is wild. All right, let's start swatching these. Shade 100, ooh, it looks really light. So if you're someone that has a hard time finding a light concealer, girl, the shade already is like, good morning. So there is shade 100. Ooh, okay. Ah, <sighs> not bad. I love smelling things to see if it's like crazy, is it weird? Let me put some more on the brush. No, just kind of like, like not paint, but just kind of like makeup. It's just like smells like makeup, which I don't mind at all. Let's do 110. Okay, a little darker. Huh, that might be good for me, we'll see. I love a really uplifting look, so I don't mind a really like stark concealer, but let's do the other two. Here is 120. Let's see how she looks. Ooh, a lot darker when you really put them next to each other. Okay, I was thinking maybe using 120, but I don't know. And then the other one is 140. Let's see what that one looks like. 
Oh wow, yeah, that is way too dark for me. Okay, so there's all four. I think I'm gonna go with 110. I We'll see in a second. Now, let's put them on in a minute. On the website, it says to start with a thin layer, build as needed. A little goes a long way, so that's good. Because you know some of these people be putting on a half a bottle under the eye, and I'm like, oh, how are you gonna blend that, girl? That is rough. So, a little goes a long way. Love that. It says apply directly under the eyes or over blemishes. Use the brush or a makeup sponge. All right, you guys, let's get to it. So, of course, I need some foundation on my skin. Now, if you're someone that is just on the go that likes to just wear concealer, I'm literally gonna do face primer, uh, excuse me, and then I'm just gonna do one side with concealer blended out, just to see how it looks with no foundation, and then I'll put foundation on the rest of my face. All right, so I'm gonna prime my skin before I do anything, and hey, it's a Fenty review, girl. Let's use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Okay, so I like this primer because it is a little hydrating, it's cute, so let's just put her on all over the skin. Hi, we want to be really hydrated today, girl. Alright, so I'm gonna put on the concealer on the right side of my face with no foundation first, and then we'll see what happens. Now, this is shade 110. Let's see if it's too light for me or just right. All right, it says a little goes a long way, so I'll just do, how about that? Like, you know, I wanna do more so bad. Let's just see what happens. Now, let's try the brush. I hate putting on concealer with a brush. It's just not my preferred method, but let's do it. Oh wow, this is really brightening, but I love it. Once there's like actually foundation on my skin, it's going to look really good. Now, if you're someone that doesn't like a brightening effect, stick to the same shade as your foundation. I'm someone that loves a really crazy under eye because I am trying to look uh, not human. So if you're someone that doesn't like that, of course, uh, go to your, you know, your shade. All right, wow, this brush, actually, I don't know why, I was gonna, I was gonna be a little skeptical because synthetic brushes are not always the best, but this quality is great. Um, it blended out the concealer really nice. Is it uh, a little bright for me? Yes, and I, I love that. So let's look at the difference between the right side with, of course, now the concealer versus the other side with just depression, anxiety, and fear. All right, now I am gonna put on some foundation. I, what am I gonna use? I have so many in front of me. Let's just go with, oh my God, an old time favorite. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I use this on my channel in 16 and probably every video. This will make me look a little more golden, which I love. We're gonna take our little Morphe Beauty sponge. I love this, it's so soft. And let's put on some foundation. All right, foundation is on. That under eye bitch is highlighted. 110, maybe I'm actually shook. It may be a little too bright for me. I'm gonna go in with 120 a tiny bit and let's just do that right there. Hello. I'm actually just gonna do it with this sponge quickly and let's see what happens. All right, now as I'm blending it into the skin, it's blending really nicely. A little does go a long way. It's spreading nice as I'm blending. Sometimes you'll blend things and it just kind of like stays and gets stuck there. This one is blending really nice and pretty. I didn't know what to expect. I'm like, okay, this is Rihanna's first concealer. How are we gonna feel about it? Let's see. So far, so good. It does look really beautiful under the eye so far. All right, let's move on to this side of my face. Hi, left side. I know, you feel left out. Now, I am gonna take 120 and 110 and let's do a little bit of mixing. I'm just gonna dab on a little bit of 110 in here. Oh, wow. Okay. Now the beauty sponge will absorb some of the product. So if I were to blend out this side with the brush, I feel like it would be really cakey. So let's just go in with the beauty sponge. Whoa, okay, looking cute. Let's do this chin. Whoa, okay. 
So the concealer is fully blended out on this side and this side. What are we thinking, guys? Let's talk about it. It is looking kind of luminous. Maybe it's the primer, maybe it's the foundation. Hi, luminous silk. <laughs> Regardless if it's the foundation, the primer, or not, the concealer is a soft matte, but it looks really nice on the skin. I am gonna apply a little bit more on the forehead and the nose where I normally would. Let's give it its best chance. No stone unturned here, hi. All right, that blended out really easy, and I definitely could add a little bit more if I wanted to, but I think it's the perfect amount for what I need. I do have some discoloration under my eyes just from just from living, okay? It's been a long life. But um, it covered up everything. It looks really nice. Now, I do wanna quickly set this, so hi! There's a new setting powder! Now, we're gonna move quickly onto that before this fully dries. So, hi setting powder, how are ya? All right, now the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder looks like this. It retails for $32. There are eight shades, which is amazing. By the way, we didn't even fully grasp how many concealer shades there were for this brand. We'll talk about it in the outro, but the setting powders have eight shades, which is amazing. Um, I grabbed Butter and Lavender. I'm not really sure what lavender means um, for this brand. Is it really, really brightening or... Oh, oh, wow. So here's the packaging. Of course, the hexagon moment. Excuse my fingerprints. Hi. Now, I was seeing... Ooh, okay. It has a long sticker. You guys know I hate when you can barely open these. It's like the worst thing on the planet. All right, bam. There's that. Now, I did see some people online asking about, like, a top thing, and voila, if you do not look, in the box, there is this hidden here, and pull it out, and this goes on top of your setting powder. I love that they included that. They did not have to do that, but they went the extra mile. So, if you're someone that travels a lot or your stuff gets messy, when you're done with the powder, take this little guy, pop it right on top, and you will not spill when you open it the next time. Amazing, love it. Now also, there is a new powder puff setting brush. Um, this retails for $34, $2 more than the powder. I'm shook, I'm like, girl, come on, Riri, are you serious? Okay, but um, it does feel like a nice synthetic quality brush. So we will try this today on one side of my face with the concealer and the powder over it. Now, there was another shade called Butter. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, okay, kind of like an ivory yellow bone color, and then the lavender, let's see how she looks. Oh wow, it looks like my hoodie, I'm kind of living. Okay, so let's just set the concealer. Now before you ever want to set your concealer, you take your sponge one last time, baby, and you gently press out any of the creasing. Because once you set it, baby, it is set for the rest of the night. All right, so we are good. Let's take the brush. Um, I'm gonna use the, the lavender side, fuck it. Ooh, it's on there. Is that too much? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know yet. The brush is like not my favorite thing to put on setting powder with, if you know what I mean. I like more like concentrated brushes, like this little guy. Like I love just dipping in and mm, But this came with it. Let's see, let's put a little more on. Mmm, it actually smells really good. It's kind of vanilla-y. Um, okay, so let's take the mirror and let's see how it looks up close. Whoa. Are you guys seeing this? You know what's bizarre? Looking in the mirror, it's like right there, it's not as bright, almost like it's like a nude. Do you see that or no? Let's really zoom in on that, like full 4K. That is really weird. Why would it change the color? You know what I mean? I see now that we zoom in. Yeah, like why would it only change it's right there? Between. Yeah, it's so weird. And this is this is the lavender powder. That's weird. Okay, so let's take the beauty sponge. Let's go back to this side and let's just press this in on, on this side and see what happens. I'm a little shook. Okay, let's just press this in. Okay, now let's give it a second. What do you guys think? I wanna quickly set the chin, but I'm gonna use the shade Butter just for fun. All right, this has no more powder on it from the other shade. Let's take Butter and let's hit me with the chin. Okay, I actually like that shade better. It looked a little yellow in the packaging, but I don't mind it on the 
face. Now this side does not have that weirdness. Can we zoom in right there? Do you see that, how it's kind of patchy or no? Mm -hmm. It's just kind of weird and drying right there. I wonder what it would look like if I set it with like a Laura Mercier or something else. Not sure, but obviously if it's the powder that comes with the concealer, you'd think it would work perfectly, but it is a little weird. Now remember on this side, I did apply only concealer. On this side, it has foundation and concealer. So it is gonna look slightly different. I just, this is so weird. Okay, let's take the sponge. Let's just take shade butter, okay? I don't want to over powder because we all know that's going to make it look more drying. I and mean, I do not have dry under eyes, but I just want to lightly put that over and see if anything else happens. It kind of helped. Let me brush off the excess. Okay, let's zoom in on that part again. Uh, I mean, it kind of helped. A little bit better. Yeah. It's not the best, but it's all right. Kind of... Uh, yeah, it's still kind of like draggy in little patches, almost like the powder picked up. Well, let's take shade butter and let's finish off the rest of the face. All right, so we just paused for five minutes to let everything settle. Let's do a quick look, everybody. All right, now this... It's hard to tell what product is making my under eyes look so dry. I think it's the powder because when the concealer was on before this, it looked really nice. So I almost regret setting it, but hi, it's a review and uh, she put out some powders and we had to test them. So I'm not sure, but um, I know I put two colors on this side, so you may be like, Jeffrey, you over powdered, you're too dry. Oh no, honey, my skin is Butter, okay, no tea. I'm not even trying to be fucking cocky or dramatic, bitch. Her skin's good. Yeah, I'm not sure. I do want to put on some bronzer and highlight and just kind of uh, see how it, you know, looks over the next few hours. I definitely want to do a wear test because it's only been on for like 10 minutes. So let me put on a few more products and um, we shall see how it looks shortly. All right, we put a little bronzer on and um, I forgot something that I had. So this guy came out, perfect timing. Uh, a month or two ago, it was that beautiful Swarovski Crystal uh, Cheek Hugging Highlight Brush and the Kilowatt Highlighter. Um, <laughs> This was $350 for two items. And I was like, you know what? It's supporting charity and it's blingy. I need it. So this was for a foundation that Rihanna is a part of. Maybe she created it. Sorry, I don't know the full story. But look at this packaging, you guys. What the hell? The brush looks epic. Whoa, look at that. Oh, hello. It's mesmerizing. I'm like, Hmm. <laughs> now the highlighter, I don't even know what shade this is. Let's open it up. Oh, it is the Diamond Ball Out Shade. Look at the packaging. Oh, hi. So let's open it up. Oh, wow. It's that like straight up silver surfer shade. <laughs> let's give it a swatch. Oh, wow. It's like butter. Oh, that would be a really sick eyeshadow on my cheekbones. Mm, I'm a little, I'm scared to put this color on. Let's just swatch it right here. Oh my God. I don't know about that on my cheeks, you guys. Should we try a little bit? Okay, let's do it. Okay, I'm a little scared to put this on my face because it looks like it is like, whoa. On the skin, I don't know. Let's see, I'm scared. I just wanna do a little bit in case it flops. Oh my God. That looks like, kind of like pencil lead on my face, no? Like, oh. I don't like it. Really pretty packaging, but the shade is not for me. Quickly trying to remove. Oh my god. Um, I wish it was like the gold one. Or I wish, like, wish it would have made a few other shades. But hey, souvenirs. You guys, that shade was not it. I'm going to dip into the Mama Mama Mitchell Be Perfect Sub-Zero palette. I keep going um, into this palette because it's so good. I'm like this though. Ooh. Look at that icy look. Yes, honey. You know what Mitchell does? He'll take the highlighter and then he'll take a spray like the Morphe one. He'll spray it, and then he'll let this sit for a minute. And you may be thinking, what? Yes, he just lets it sit for a minute. Hi, girl, how are you? And then he does this. And he's like, hi, do you want to look face tuned in real life? And I was like, yes, I do. Look at that. Ooh. Only thing is, we all know highlighter brings out our texture. I do have one pore that's been missing for about 10 years, and she's right there. And I did not use any pore filling stuff today, but who gives a fuck, bitch? All right, you guys, I just threw on a little bit of highlighter, some mascara, just so I didn't look dead. I'm about to go on Twitch and do some live streaming with Nathan and Zach. But we are going to be doing some check-ins. So... How will this uh, product look in a few hours, in five hours, in eight hours? You guys will find out, so sit tight, and you guys are about to watch some vlog footage, and then at the end of this, we will see what is Jeffree Star approved and what isn't. Right now, I have some thoughts, some great, some not. So I will see you guys shortly.
All right, so it's been an hour. It actually just stopped raining. The ground is wet, everything's wet, including me, but the sun just cracked open, so let's pull out our um, mirror here and let's see how we're doing after an hour. Oh wow, okay. I was expecting it to be a little more dry like it was looking in the studio, but it's been on for over an hour now and uh, look at the highlight though, bitch. Um, it's not bad. The concealer is definitely medium to full, um, which I lived for. And the powder is, uh, it's holding up. It actually looks pretty good. So first hour, we're good. So we are setting up um, our setup to do pinball on our Twitch account. <laughs> we are not making dinner. <laughs> we're not reading music here. Right, I know, it does look like a music stand. I used to be in band, Zach used to be in band. Mm -hmm. I used to play the trumpet, all dick jokes aside. Um, and I tried drumming and totally. I, just, I just couldn't do it. Oh yeah, trumpet was sick. Mm -hmm. Trumpet game. Trumpet game! So we're gonna play some pinball tonight. Um, can I ask you a random question, Nate? Nate's like, here we go. What's going on? Okay, so we just did a review on concealers and powders. Okay. So, Chris, come on this side. Do I look, do I look busted, crusted, flawless, great? Just look under here. I mean, it looks fine. I mean, it looks smooth. It doesn't look like it's... It's not creasing, huh? Not really. Which for the first hour is pretty good. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. if it's a bad formula, you never know. Yeah, no, I mean it looks pretty good. It doesn't look too bad to me. Maybe over time it looks like it might crease a little bit, but. But we'll see soon. Yes, we will. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so what do we gotta do to get this set up? I just wanna try it tonight. Like, let's let's just play for fun. Just gotta throw the cameras on this bad boy and get it thrown up on the machine. Okay. Yes, we do. Baby. Yes. It's life for you. Whoa. Concealer has been on for hours. Girl, let's see what the hell is going on under these eyes. All right, we have the LED out. It's getting really dark outside. Oh, wow, okay. I am pleasantly surprised. My under eyes are looking pretty good. The concealer hasn't cracked really at all. It looks like it's settled in my fine lines a tiny bit, but not bad, nothing major. So, so far for being on for like four and a half, five hours, I'm like, okay, bitch, work. My turn? Yes, it is. All right, baby, hold this. <laughs> Let me get on here. All right, you guys. Hi. Hello, everybody. All right, now, listen here. It has been hours and hours since the products have been on. So before I go to bed and wipe everything off, it's time to give my final thoughts. Now, let me start with the good news. The good news is, is that the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer is Jeffree Star approved. Yes, now listen, this has been on for hours and hours. I'm talking about 10 almost, would you say, Christian? Yeah. And I gotta say, looking at the under eye, like, this formula is really good. Um, I would suggest to hydrate a little bit more than normal if you're gonna use this product. Um, it's not super drying, but it is a tiny bit. Um, it did kind of settle into my fine lines, or it could have been the powder, I'm really not sure, but when this laid down, I loved it. Now you guys saw way earlier when we applied it with the brush, um, it worked great, it applied really nicely, but my favorite was with the Wet Beauty Sponge. It doesn't matter the brand, it could be Beauty Blender, Morphe, Ulta, Real Techniques, anyone, it doesn't matter. But a wet sponge laid this down really nice. So, um, if you are looking for a new luxury concealer, this might be the one for you. Give it a whirl, there is over 50 shades, so you, I'm sure, will find something for you. Let's jump in since I'm holding this. Now, the Fenty Beauty concealer brush and the setting powder brush, I really don't think that they're necessary. Um, I think for the price, I mean, this was more than the powder. I'm like, girl, no offense, but this brush is not the magical wand that I've been desiring. It's cute, it's, you know, they're synthetic, it's nice quality, but for the price, there is any drugstore brand that you would get the same exact quality. Um, did the brush work? Yes. This one, I'm not sure, because let's move on to the weird kind of, well, the way it's set a while ago. I think now that we're looking at it, um, if you wanna zoom in a tiny bit more, I'm scared. Um, no, if you look closely, I think that the powder was a little drying. It caused that weirdness over here, if you guys remember, where it was kind of like settling, or like 
I don't know, it was just bizarre. I don't know why it settled that way, um, but I didn't really live for it. I think that the packaging is great. You get a lot for your, um, you know, for a luxury brand. I love the smell. Mm, I think the packaging is great. The um, sifter that you got, um, the sifter closure, we'll say, um, that it comes with was really great. But I just think that the powder was a little too drying. So if you are someone that already has dry skin or mature skin, Stay away from it, girl. Um, but if you are oily, it could be really good for you. Um, but I don't know. I just feel like the concealer to me really stood out. So this was really great. But the brushes, 100% not Jeffree Star approved. I mean, they were, but girl, that price. Oh my girl, we, I mean, listen. At this point, if you don't have a concealer brush or a sponge at home, just go to any other store, try it out, see what works best for you. You don't really need to a brush to apply your concealer. Let's move on to the final verdict. I think that there's just so many setting powders on the market. I mean, you look to Laura Mercier, the most iconic setting powder on the market. <sighs> I live for it. I think it did a lot better job than this one. The way that this kind of settled was weird. I feel like this was the culprit for being a little dry. Just feeling it, it's nice, but uh, it's a little on the crocodile side. So would I recommend this for everyone out there? I don't know. I think that there's just so much more on the market. Like, I don't want to keep making excuses. So, I'm sorry. The setting powder is not Jeffree Star approved. All right, you guys. That is the tea on all of that. Sound off below. What are your thoughts? Remember, we all have different experiences with makeup. We all have a different complexion, skin type, skin tone, everything. So, we are all not going to have the same experience. Um, but if you've tried it, sound off below. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. And what did you think in this 4K footage? of how it looked on me. All right, I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching, Mwah. love you.